Construction workers are chipping away at the new home for the $600,000 Rehoboth Beach Cinema Art House in Lewis. Typically, the festival was hosted at the Midway Movie Theater, but a conflict in showing both mainstream and independent movies forced the festival out. We're not going to have the, the, the film festival anymore. What's happening? Why aren't we at Midway? These were just some of the questions raised by patrons like Chiqui Galvanal when she first found out. Last year's festival was split into three locations in Lewis, Rehoboth, and Dewey Beach, which wasn't an easy adjustment. This is a retiree destination, so, you know, you want things to be much more convenient, and, and we felt that, you know, it was very inconvenient, but I understood why. Evan Copley is the chairperson for development and resources for the Rehoboth Film Society. She says they needed their own identity. And it's a real theater. I mean, we really have risers and we have stadium seating. It's going to be a professional theater. Now the film festival's next issue is more fundraising and introducing more diverse and worldly films. And they really want to do that. So it really isn't just for the, you know, the old white people, <laughs> you know, because I think some people think of it that way. When, when you broaden your perspective and your horizons, you're able to connect more with people who are different from you. For now, the Jewish Film Festival will headline the Rehoboth Cinema Art House grand opening this spring. In Lewis, I'm Nicole Denado for WRDE Delmarva Zone, NBC Station.